Izumi has the worst luck ever. Not only does it seem like the world itself wants him dead, <laughs> but he's the only person to ever get hit by a truck and not get a sekai. All he got was a scar out of it. But there's one icing on the cake, and that's Shikimori. They're not just cute Shikimori, but also the cool Shikimori. <laughs> which is the basis of Shikimori's Not Just a Cutie. This is a series that is airing in the spring 2022 anime season. This is my thoughts on the first two episodes, so let's jump right into it. To expand on what I said earlier, yes, Shikimori is Not Just a Cutie follows Izumi, and Izumi has terrible luck, as it kind of notes when he first leaves to go to school. Right after he leaves his house, he immediately trips over a rock and falls over. It shows birds trying to poop on him, him falling over a gate. He just, terrible luck. But like I said, the nice thing about Izumi's life is that he has a girlfriend that seems to be very, very special. This is a very cute, everybody sees her as like the most gorgeous girl. And not only that, but she has this other side to her that she's extremely, extremely protective of Izumi. So if anything is going to befall him, she's always there to kind of protect him. So when a truck comes barreling by, she pulls him to safety. When there's a newspaper about to hit him in the back of the head, she's there to block it. When a sign falls off of a shop, she's there to drop kick it <laughs> like she is super protective and like i said most people sees her as being very cute but there's this other side of her which is that she's again very cool she's very protective and so whenever he's in danger she gets a more serious tone to her that she doesn't want anything bad to befall him and as it goes along you kind of get the sense that izumi obviously feels like he's a burden upon uh, shikimori despite the fact that she he loves her she th he thinks that she's gorgeous and cute and that she has this really cool side he still believes he's a burden upon her and that he's going to get her hurt one of these days he he acknowledges the idea that he has terrible luck and that he's almost cursed. And with Shikimori always being there to protect him, he's always afraid that she, one of these days she's going to get harmed by his bad luck. And he also kind of feels like he doesn't give her anything in exchange. It's that kind of concept where somebody doesn't believe that it's a give and take relationship. That he's not giving her anything in return for how protective she is of him. But obviously from her perspective, as long as he's there with her, never leaves her side, she's fine. She's happy with that. And over time, you're getting to know a lot of the friends of Shikimori and Izumi. And that includes Inuzuka, who is more of a gruff character. I got, I got a kick out of this character because the moment I seen him, I was like, man, he looks just like Bakugo. <laughs> and sure enough, they chose the seiyu of My Hero Academia as Bakugo to voice this guy. And I'm like, Okay, I guess that that was extremely intentional, obviously. And he's a good guy, too, because whenever Izumi is in danger and Shikimori is not available, he's kind of equally there. He he does go out of his way to protect Izumi. Then you have Nekozaki, who kind of seems like she's all about kind of bringing people together and having fun together. She's she's very much so somebody that's kind of a get out there and get people kind of person. And then Hachimitsu, who's more quiet, but very, very weird and quirky in her own way. And that's basically the setup so far. In episode two, they had a big kind of sports rally with all the classes kind of competed against each other. And there's a little bit of competition there regarding... Izumi having to play soccer without Shikimori around, Shikimori playing volleyball and him being there to support her, and Izumi getting hurt over and over and over and over again. So my thoughts on Shikimori is not just a cutie. I will admit there's a side of me that doesn't like this show. <laughs> and the reason why I say that is because there's so much emphasis on Izumi getting in trouble, Shikimori saving him, him whining about the fact that he keeps getting in trouble and that she is always in harm's way. Granted, we're only two episodes in, and this can shift. I'm hoping this shifts. I will honestly say, if in the third or fourth episode this doesn't shift away from this, I'm gonna shut down on the show because it's it's already getting tiresome. It's already, I mean, it's, it's, it is cool. This is technically the wish fulfillment of the overly protective cute girl that will do anything to protect you. But it's only so long that I can watch Izumi be this kind of whiny little, <laughs> basically cursed being. I mean, it's just kind of overstated its welcome already. It, it didn't take long for me. I mean, even, even the first episode, I was getting tired of it already. Now, the interesting thing here, and I'm I'm wondering if I'm overthinking this or if this is going to be what it's going to shift to. It feels like this is already really badly hinting at there being something behind the scenes. That Izumi's bad luck is not normal. <laughs> like we're talking magical, supernatural levels of bad luck here. There's got to be something at play. And I don't know if it was just 
poorly translated in the first episode, but at the very end of the first episode, when this literally the shop sign falls down on him, she kicks it out of the way, which I mean, yes, girl drop kicking thing out of the middle of midair seems weird, uh, but he goes to say something and he stops and she stops him. It was something to the effect of it almost seemed like you were and she stopped him. And I don't know if he was insinuating that the, the ability for her to kick it was so cool and she didn't want him to say that because it plays a little bit in the first episode that she doesn't like to be known as being cool. She wants him to say that she's cute. It's kind of that whole aspect of the female uh, mindset is that she doesn't want to be known as being cool and handsome or anything like that. She wants to be cute. She That's what she desires. She wants him to see her as cute. It was the whole situation with the bowling thing. She was going to purposely be terrible at it so that she he would think that it was cute. Instead, she <laughs> he <laughs> encouraged her and she wanted to show off to him. So she did the cool route. But again, I, my mindset goes to if this is going to be a story about... I don't see it in the genres and this is this could be spoiler and I don't want anybody to spoil it for me but I don't see in the genre of supernatural. So I don't know that it's going to go the route of this is a curse like he has been cursed and possibly Shikimori is trying to compensate for it. Does Shikimori know that he has some sort of curse on him and maybe she's involved and so she's trying to take care of him? I thought at first that it was strictly one-sided relationship that Izumi liked Shikimori and Shikimori was protecting him but she didn't really like him. And tell you how this whole situation with him her them getting in the same classroom together and she starts flipping out she was excited about it i do think shikimori loves izumi but i'm curious when it's going to get to the point if it's going to get to a point where it's possibly a thing about her knowing why he has such bad luck and she's trying to protect him because of it and then she fell in love with him at the same time it could create an interesting dynamic going forward I don't know that it's going to create some sort of rift between the two of them, but it might be an interesting thing to get into if it does. If it does turn out just to be about, you know, guy with bad luck and girls protecting him and she looks cool doing it, I'm, I'm probably going to fall off on this pretty quickly. I mean, Shikimori is super cute, super cool whenever she does it. I mean, I, I love her character design. I think she's fantastic already. It's just, it's not enough for me. And I, like I said, Izumi is getting annoying already. It's repetitive at this point. So again, I kind of need something a little more. And like I said, if it does go supernatural with it, that might be the interesting route. They've already kind of hinted at somebody else being involved with Izumi, which was this Kamiya girl that played volleyball against Sukimori. Is she possibly a past girlfriend of his? And maybe she seen that he was such a burden to protect and that she ditched him. And maybe there'll be that aspect of her... Wondering why Shikimori deals with it. That's my assumption they're going to get into there. And again, if that's the case and that's all it is, it's going to be like, okay, <laughs> what else? I don't know. I mean, th this goes back to the whole discussion about My Dress Up Darling. When that show was airing, there was a, f there was like a very small group of people that believed that the only reason that people liked My Dress Up Darling is because Hot Girl. If that was the case, I would watch pretty much every <laughs> anime show that has at least one hot girl in it. And this is a show where, yes, you do have a very hot girl that's in it that obviously is playing into a desire. Like a lot of people would like a girl like this, somebody that is just full on willing to protect you, but it doesn't carry it. it it's, that's not enough for me. So we'll see. But uh, so far, really looks great. Dogokobo is doing an excellent job on it. Now, the big question mark, obviously, and I probably should have brought this up at the very beginning, wins episode three. Because the big question mark right now is Dogokobo is unfortunately dealing with an illness spreading throughout the uh, studio. So they had to shut down for almost an entire week. Episode one was already delayed by a week. I'm grateful that we got the second episode. But the question mark is going to be, are they working remotely? Did they have a lot of this already pre-made? It's a big question mark as to when we're going to get the next episode. Based on the fact that the first episode was delayed doesn't make me believe that they have a lot of this done beforehand. Obviously, they delayed because they were behind. But who knows? We'll have to wait and see if uh, episode three comes out as scheduled and how quickly they can turn out going forward. But so far, it looks really good. Visually, it looks excellent. I mean, again, Shikimori is the focus here and she looks fantastic. And a lot of the other side characters look fantastic, too. I surprisingly like Nekozaki. She was really cute. I mean, very interesting seiyu. I mean, her voice is very was a little screechy at first, but I really enjoy her seiyu. And I think she doesn't she's such a really fun character. But that's my thoughts on the first two episodes of Shikimori is not just a cutie. We'll see. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you think this is going to go the supernatural route? I mean, they went out of their way to point out that Shikimori blocked something without looking. And again, drop kicking stuff. And it always seems like she's always like she knows when it's going to happen. And again, so that makes me believe that she at least, unless it's just plot holes, that that the plot hole aspect that why she's able to stop things or why she always seems to know when things are happening and is able to block it because some of the stuff happens so quickly, there's no way that you'd be able to block that or whatever. So maybe it's me overthinking it, 
but that's my hope is there's something at least interesting in this story. It's not just whiny boy that wants to protect girl, but girl always protects boy. But yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments down below if you're watching it or if you're going to be checking it out. As always, if you're not already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. It definitely helps us out. Also, additionally, if you want to support us more, we have a Patreon link and a tips link in the description below, as well as a merch site. We definitely appreciate everybody that supports us, and y'all take care.